How about first IE trend down the group? Ionization energy trend down any group usually will decrease. So why is that the case? Uh, again, we will use this flow chart. Concept is again falling back on effective nuclear charge. Proton number increase, nuclear charge increase, which is here. That's reasonable, no problem. But right, if there's an increase in the nuclear charge, there should be a stronger attraction on the valence electron, so the IE will go up, correct? The second thing is, how do I add the electrons? There's an increase in the number of electrons, yes. But more importantly is, the electrons are added to the next principal quantum shell. The number of inner shell increase, so there's more shooting effect, and the electrons get further away from the nucleus, from n equals to 2 to n equals to 3, or n equals to 3 to n equals to 4. That means the electrons or the valence electrons are moving on to the next available shell or principal quantum shell, so they get further away from the nucleus. So there are two factors here. First thing is distance from the nucleus increase, more inner shells, so the shooting effect will increase, which is here, second point. And when I combine these two ideas together, hopefully you realize that they will actually oppose each other. Increase in nuclear charge will cause a stronger attraction on the valence electron. You cause the IE to go up. Increase in shooting effect and increase in the distance from the nucleus will result in a weaker attraction on the valence electron, so it will cause the IE to go down. So these two guys, actually, they'll fight each other. Eh? Nuclear charge and shooting effect, they actually will clash with each other. So which one is dominant? It turns out that the shooting effect is more important. Uh, how do we know that is uh, we can base this on the outcome. We know that the first ionization energy trend or IE trend in general, it will decrease as you go down the group. So it must mean that overall attraction is weaker. So the shooting effect is more important than the nuclear charge effect. We can, based on the outcome, we can conclude which effect is more important. Another way uh, that we can do to help us remember that is I can say that there are two factors here. Ma. Increase in distance from the nucleus, which means that the attraction is weaker, plus increase in the number of inner shell, so the shooting effect increases. So there are two factors here, only one factor here involving nuclear charge. So this one should be dominant. The shooting effect should be dominant. The nuclear charge effect should be less important. So overall, effective nuclear charge will decrease, which will result in a smaller ionization energy as you go down the group. All right? So first ionization energy trend down the group. I think it's also pretty simple. Uh, we do also uh, need to keep this in mind. But recommendation is again, we use the flow chart to make it easier for us to remember, okay, what is the thing I talk about first? Then what is the next thing I do? Then how do I combine them together to talk about ENC and then subsequently link to ionization energy?